I'll start with a quick review for this book, The Price We Pay. Interesting book about the uh, healthcare system. Learned a lot in general. I enjoy those books about the medical system as I'm not well aware of what's going on, especially from the inside. So if someone, I think is an MD, if someone writes about it, um, generally they're mostly good. It's, it's interesting to see and as healthcare is already very expensive this is or this book only shows why or a few reasons of how it becomes so expensive for everyone so i definitely recommend i give this book four out of five and i definitely recommend there is some interesting ideas there there is some stories which i'm generally not a big fan of but here in this book the stories are more to actually give you the information within the story itself Usually stories are used as a, like a background idea and then they kind of build on that story or something. But here the story actually gives you a lot of information straight, straight away. And he actually, actually is, is a very good tell, uh, storyteller. And the stories are short, straight to the point. But there are quite a few stories. Let's see the notes. About 20% of treatments are not needed. There is too much treatments, either by doctors or by other insurance company or whoever is doing this. He has stories about uh, representatives that go to church and ask people or tell people that they should go and get treatments for things that do not need. Hospitals are negotiating prices similar to the way dealerships do, dropping prices significantly. So you can negotiate with hospitals. Similarly, we can negotiate the car price and even more. I think more than half, like would be two, from $2,000, $200,000 could go down to 100 and even less, which is not a good sign of our healthcare system. Side note. Stories are short and, uh, and right to the point. So there is not too much. Even though there is stories, they're short and right to the point. You understand what's, the, what, what's going on there and you learn a lot from the story itself. Hospitals ga 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 gauge prices only to give discounts for insurance companies. So they inflate the prices in the first place only to give those discounts for in-work, in in-network, patients, so in for the insurance companies they work with. Nonprofit hospitals are using or suing more than for-profit hospitals. You would think that nonprofit hospitals are suing less patients that who do not have money, but it's actually quite the opposite. The nonprofit ones sue more than the for-profit ones. Helicopter rides are now or outsourced oftentimes Many helicopters arrive on scene. Most hospitals outsourced helicopter rides. It used to be of the hospital itself. And what happens now, many, sometimes few helicopters come, like could happen also that few ambulances come. And because it's outsourced, everyone wants to have that work, basically. You can call it work with hair quotes because that's work for them. They, they earn money from it. Helicopter companies are price gouging similarly to hospitals they also inflate prices and charge way more especially under uh hard circumstances when you have to use them they're gonna uh, increase the price some doctors perform surgeries to shorten treatment they could take a longer treatment with something else but they sometimes defer to surgery to save themselves time Providing doctors performance help reduce unnecessary treatment. So sending, sending them the reports help to reduce unnecessary treatment as they see how they are doing. Showing people their performance compared to their colleagues can help them fall in line because they see how other, other, or how their colleagues are doing, how many surgeries are they usually doing, how many prescription medications they're prescribing, etc and that's how they more likely to fall in line. Some of them said that they didn't know, which is interesting. Some of them, I'm sure, knew exactly what they're doing and still 
did that away, but some of them are really were not aware and they changed their way. Eventually we all pay the price, either by our insurance premium or by Medicare. That's the idea of the price we pay because we're all gonna pay that. All this inflation and all this unnecessary treatments, we pay for it by either higher premiums or Medicare, which we'll pay with our taxes. Opiates are more or are often subscribed due to per previous norms or doctors who want to eliminate callbacks. There's a lot of opiates that were, now it's less, are being subscribed, prescribed. And one of the, one of the reasons is norms, previous norms, that's what you used to do and you just keep doing the same thing over and over. And the other way is because doctors do not want to get callbacks with pains and things like that. So they just prescribe uh, opiates and send you away. They don't want you to hear back from you. In many cases, natural treatment is adequate. So surgery or medical intervention is not always necessary. Overtreatment costs us all a lot of money. It costs, I don't know the numbers exactly, but it's a lot of money that we all eventually pay for. Hospitals must treat emergencies without charging. That's one of the rules there are, but some of them are trying to charge you even with, even with this law that requires them to treat you without charging. Insurance brokers who advise for companies which insurance to buy are often paid by insurance company. So insurance brokers, I did not know they even exist, but who they advise for companies which insurance company to, go, to get or to buy are sometimes paid by the insurance company. So this is definitely not a good idea and could also cause some price gouging. Employers pay for insurance that eventually comes out of employees' compensation. Many employers take pride in the idea that they pay for insurance, health insurance, but eventually who pays for it is the employee because there is a fund or a specific amount of money that goes for employees and the healthcare comes out of that fund or that pile of money. The less money is in there, the less money the employee gets. In medical school, there is an emphasis on remembering unnecessary things instead of learning more important things like any other place or all the education basically just learning and just remembering there's a huge emphasis about remembering things rather than only more important things such as communication i think this is one of his ideas communication better communication or instead of remembering the whole steps or of whatever or in all parts of some treatments that he's not or most doctors are not even close to need of doing so that's for the notes interesting points i do i would recommend i recommend this book there is some good information there again it's not doesn't make you feel good about the healthcare system but it's some things that has to be changed another thing i like about this book is that he actually has some ideas of how to fix things so it's not only presenting the problems, you also have some solutions, some of them already turned pot, like you already know that they're working because they implemented them in some places and they are already worked. So interesting, again, four out of five, and I would recommend. Thank you.